All right, we're back with our first report for Herman Busby. Herman, of course, our Shady Grove News Bureau chief. We've kind of put our... <laughs> you okay, Jeff? Okay. We've kind of put our life in Herman's hands on, <laughs> on this deal. Herman's taking us to look for fiddle worms. I don't even know what fiddle worms are. Herman, what's a fiddle worm? It's just a big old long worm that's deep in the ground. The big old long worm deep in the ground. Hang on, folks. See, this is Herman's first story as the official First Friday Shady Grove Bureau Chief, so he wanted to make sure this fiddle worm deal works out okay. It was sort of a pride thing with Herman. Okay, Herman's going to get these fiddle worms for us. I'm just going to let him kind of, like, describe what we're doing. What exactly is, is the deal here, Herman? I'm going to sow this bush down and then sow into it with a saw, and the worm will come up out of the ground. Like, do I need to stand back or anything? No, they'll come up way up there sometimes, so just, y'all have to look for them, because I'll be busy. Herman says the vibration caused by the sawing sort of drives the worms crazy and they finally just give it up figuring anything's better than this annoying vibrating when they're just trying to catch a few Z's. One thing I'm learning is that hunting for fiddle worms requires a lot of patience, right Herman? Yeah, that's correct. And his patience and diligence did pay off. It works. It really works. It requires a good eye to really to spot it. Yeah, it does, because they agree. The colors will stick and things. Yeah, and the same color as the leaves and everything. And they're hard to see. In case you're wondering, these worms are really cold, because they've been pretty far down in the ground for a while. So that's how you fit them for worms. This is a hurt. Wait just a minute. This is a... So that's how you fit them for worms. This is Bureau Chief Herman Bubby reporting from Shady Grove.